Bible Gateway's verse of the day for Monday, April 20th, 2020, taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 55 through 57. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Mr. Spurgeon's Morning and Evening Devotional for Monday, April 20th, 2020. The Morning Devotional. Key verses taken from Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14. That through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. O child of God, death has lost its sting, because the devil's power over it is destroyed. Then cease to fear dying, Ask grace from God the Holy Ghost, that by an intimate knowledge and a firm belief of your Redeemer's death, you may be strengthened for that dread hour. Living near the cross of Calvary, you may think of death with pleasure, and welcome it when it comes with intense delight. It is sweet to die in the Lord. It is a covenant blessing to sleep in Jesus. Death is no longer banishment. It is a return from exile a going home to the many mansions where the loved ones already dwell. The distance between glorified spirits in heaven and militant saints on earth seems great, but it is not so. We are not far from home. A moment will bring us there. The sail is spread. The soul is launched upon the deep. How long will be its voyage? How many wearying winds must beat upon the sail ere it shall be reefed in the port of peace. How long shall that soul be tossed upon the waves before it comes to that sea which knows no storm? Listen to the answer, absent from the body, present with the Lord. Yon ship has just departed, but it is already at its haven. It did but spread its sail, and it was there. Like that ship of old, upon the lake of Galilee, a storm had tossed it, but Jesus said, Peace, be still. And immediately it came to land. Think not that a long period intervenes between the instant of death and the eternity of glory. When the eyes close on earth, they open in heaven. The horses of fire are not an instant on the road. Then, O child of God, what is there for you to fear in death, seeing that through the death of your Lord its curse and sting are destroyed? And now it is but a Jacob's ladder whose foot is in the dark grave, but its top reaches to glory everlasting. The Evening Devotional Taken from 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 17 Fight the Lord's battles Mr. Spurgeon says, The sacramental host of God's elect is warring still on earth, Jesus Christ being the captain of their salvation. He has said, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Hark to the shouts of war. Now let the people of God stand fast in their ranks, and let no man's heart fail him. It is true that just now in England the battle is turned against us, and unless the Lord Jesus shall lift his sword, we know not what may become of the church of God in this land, but let us be of good courage and play the man. There never was a day when Protestantism seemed to tremble more in the scales than now that a fierce effort is making to restore the Romish Antichrist to his ancient seat. We greatly want a bold voice and a strong hand to preach and publish the old gospel for which martyrs bled and confessors died. The Savior is, by His Spirit, still on earth. Let this cheer us. He is ever in the midst of the fight, and therefore the battle is not doubtful. And as the conflict rages, what a sweet satisfaction it is to know that the Lord Jesus, in His office as our great intercessor, is prevalently pleading for His people. O oh, anxious gazer, look not so much at the battle below, for there you shall be enshrouded in smoke, 
and amazed with the garments rolled in blood. But lift your eyes yonder where the Savior lies and pleads, for while he intercedes, the cause of God is safe. Let us fight as if it all depended upon us, but let us look up and know that all depends upon him. Now, by the lilies of Christian purity, and by the roses of the Savior's atonement, by the rose and by the hinds of the field, we charge you who are lovers of Jesus to do valiantly in the holy war for truth and righteousness, for the kingdom and crown jewels of your master. Onward, for the battle is not yours, but God's.